Okay, I think I know which one of these fish I need and which one I can sell. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. harvested. Uh, spend some time watering stuff before the fair starts. There's some water, there's some water, and some water for you. And all the corn. At some point, I am going to get better sprinklers. I get this actually set up. figure all this out again. Give me another second with the wiki. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the indoor chest and figure everything out there. Um, so we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Izzy! My cat just ran off my crochet hook. I will have to chase her down and find where she hid that later. Anything that rolls. Ooh, batteries. More eggplants. Yeah, she likes anything that rolls. Pencils, pens. And then she will go and bury them under the living room rug so that half the time I don't know she's stolen something until I step on it. Um, which, I mean... I love her dearly, so what else am I going to do? Alright, we got some mushrooms. And the fair has begun, but we will go back to that after I finish watering things, because we have time. to get a fence put there too. awkward field when you harvest things and there's little gaps. And there we go. Alright, so now we just got need to get our Grange display collected and then we can go to town. So we're going to put those in there. Probably need to sell some of this so I have room. Yeah. 
Okay, I can sell those. All but one of those, and then we'll compare it. Yeah, I can sell that. All right, let's go take a look. Oh. And throw the stone in there. You get any of that? Uh, I'm thinking about it. Too many options. I apologize. A uh, good chunk of this episode is going to be me sitting here and thinking about what I need to bring to this Grange display. Um. Alright, I think I'm good with that one. Let's check this one. I want... Put that there. I want to take this one. Um, anything else? Okay, not at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave that be for now. Alright, so what's in this one? Let's see, I want that. Let's check the wiki again. Give me a minute. Okay, so I need to sell, I, yeah, I probably need to sell some of these. I want the diamond, but I need to make some room in my inventory so that I have room to take things so I can sell that. Okay, now let's try this again. Yeah, definitely want the iridium egg over that. That's an easy choice. Um. Okay, let's rearrange these a little bit so I can see. I'm a very visual person. Sometimes I need to see to think. Um, want that. So those four I know for sure. Okay, and then I think I want these two here. All right, so that's that organized. So, uh, next bit. Which of these things do I want to take? Because we only get nine items. Okay, so... I think I want... Yes, I want that. That's... And again, I apologize for the amount of time it's taking me to make this decision, but I really want to see if we can win the Grand display in our first fall. Um, no, I'm not done. Yeah. Okay. I need to... Foraging. Dairy. We got the milk, but I think the cheese is uh, artesian, technically. Um... Mushroom is foraging? I think the mushroom is foraging. I'm not sure if the blackberry is foraging too. We'll find out. I know you can repeat some of the categories, so we should be fine. That should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and head to the fair after I get rid of some of these things that I know I don't need. Um, and... Okay. You happy with that? Last chance. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna see how we do. And you know what? If we don't win, we can always come back for the next fall and try again. All right, we are in the Stardew Valley Fair. Oh, looks great with star blue coloring. Hello, Lewis. Oh, Lydian, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. Hey, best luck to you if you enter. My store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely and see for yourself. Alright, let's get our set up. 
I do wonder a little bit if Pierre used all of his products, so like his own products, or if it's all products that he got out of his store, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, like, like things that other people sold to him. Um, the egg, there we go. Cat, you're not helping. You need to move. You're not a good window. Alright, so I think I'm happy with that. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. Yeah, but yours is all your stuff. Well, maybe the chess will give me bonus points for the massive cheese wheel. I certainly hope so. That is a massive cheese wheel. Ah, Willie. Ah, you're setting up a grand display, Avian. It's your chance to show off all the good produce for mods. Hello. Tourist. Wow, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. Oh, it picked my little finger. Moo. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. I got some soul searching to do. Shane. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. I could say something smart about that, but I'm going to refrain. These animals never judge people by the looks. The same can't be said for humans. Let's see. Who have I spoken to and who do I still need to speak to? Okay, yes. Walked right past. Hey, Avian, having a good time? The slingshot tent is pretty fun, and if you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. Sebastian, it's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to go see the fortune teller and the wizard. Oh, Mr. Uh, Ginger. Yeah. Mr. Ginger. I love Mr. Ginger. Well, look, and I have known each other for a long time. She was a remarkable diviner and a good friend. That clown. I know him from somewhere. Was it the school of illusion? Or maybe the carnival of secrets? Alright. Um, no? Ah, yes, my crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future young. Should we? I think we should. Ah, yes, I see you at the beach. There's some kind of event taking place. You walk up to Marnie and say something funny. It seems like you two are good friends. Interesting. I see you and Shane working together on a farm. You seem very pleased about something. Cristobal has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has dropped in. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now, just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Thank you. All right. Uh, looks like we're good friends with Marnie and Shane. Um, and because I do have some of the Shane adjustment mods, the happy Shane and everything, I am leaning towards him for our bachelor, let me know. He doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with the budget clown this year. Um, you know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Well, you do like to make people smile. That would be appropriate for Emily if she were to go to clown college. Um, woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm proud to be part of. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. I can see those two being good friends. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. She deserves a lot of recognition. Let's see. Clutz blades get sharper every year. So do his prices. Also an artisan. I complain about my job sometimes. I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. Alright. 
Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes out every locker in the tent. Uh, I think I see Penny. Yep, there's Penny. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. All he needs to keep his money. It's a fine looking town he got here. Nice and cozy. A real sense of community. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. I already saw her. She told me something interesting. <laughs> I played the strength game too many times and now my arms feel like rubber. It was a not long bus ride here, but totally worth it. The valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it, don't you, Simon? All right, let's go see. Uh, who else? I think we have to go up to by the community center for the, all the barbecue peoples. Yeah. All right. Um. Yep, here's where everybody else is. Another tourist. Man, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. So stuffed. Hi, Maru. Mm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments, of Mayor Lewis. Oh, good. Uh, and make sure to dribble some of my secret sauce on there. Smoked turkey. Which I guess this festival isn't all bad. I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe. Is it just me, or would anybody else really like to know the recipe for that secret sauce? Because I do enjoy good barbecue, and secret sauce just sounds amazing. Actually, if you have a favorite recipe, leave it below in the comments, um, and that way we can all take a look and try them out. I already beat all the games, now what? Alright, well, now it's time for judging, I think. And yes, time for judging. And we just gotta be patient. looked at all the displays. Your display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 104. Easy. Not helping, Cat. Why are you so clingy today? Your prize is a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean, clean out your great display box. Alright, so let's go get all our stuff before we forget. Alright, let's see what the prizes are. star drop. I would like the rare crow. I really want this rare crow. It looks like um, Turnip Head from uh, House Moving Castle, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. All-time favorite book as well. I love Diane Jones. Um, if I'm going to plug anything, it's going to be amazing books. Alright, so let's see. And it's not quite. Ooh, but I am an ox. we go. Ah, no, that's like what I like to see. Here, have a star token. Alright, let's play the slingshot game. I am notoriously bad at this, so you all are about to get a chance to laugh at me. 
Um, I may end up playing it a couple times, though, so we'll see if I show any improvements. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad at this. Um, quite bad at this. Oh. Eh, that's not horrible. At least I'm hitting things. That's nice, but they're stacked, so that makes it easy. but not the worst. All right. Let's try to earn our tokens. Okay. So this, I think the odds are largely in favor of green. Um, now that I say that, I am probably about to be proved wrong. That worked. Alright, and the fishing game. Fishing, I actually feel pretty confident at. Alright. Now, I do think it's a little unfair that you can get algae when you're supposed to be getting fish because don't really have control over that. It's supposed to be more about catching the fish. But you know what? You get the algae and the lakes and stuff anyway, and you get the seaweed out of the ocean. So I suppose it's uh, probably the same algorithm or something. This is a fair tent. I imagine that somebody just snuck in and put random junk in the tank. So we got 22, 21 seconds left. Should be able to get at least one more. Yes. Right, one more shot. Probably not. We got a bite. I don't think it'll let us keep it though. Oh, it did. Okay, that is nice. So as long as it bites before the timer runs out. We got six fish. Perfection bonus. Ooh, 420 star tokens. Might need to come back to that one. Let's try the slingshot game again. I will say the slingshot is easier on the PC versus mobile. Um, I actually originally started playing on the mobile version. <laughs> How many times did I try to hit that one? <laughs> Too many. Purple one. Oh. Okay, I did a little better there. There's gotta be like a secret angle to get all of these. Do not know what it is. If you're good with the slingshot, if you have tips, leave them in the comments. I am not good with the slingshot. <laughs> Do not ask me for tips. Alright, uh, so 
61%, no accuracy bonus, 34 star tokens. Definitely be better with the fishing. You know what? Let's try this again. Let's see if I can figure anything out that might make it better. Okay, so far doing quite a bit better. I think maybe I've kind of... Nope. I think some of this is a timing thing. Maybe. Oh, got both of them. Got both of them. All right, I feel like I'm doing better. I do feel like I'm doing better. And then, of course, I say that, and I'm not doing better. <laughs> the scores will tell. 68. 85%. That is much better. I did do better. Ooh, and I got an accuracy multiplier. 120. Still did better at the fishing. All right, let's try the wheel again. I'm going to try green again. You did good on green last time. Oh. Maybe. No. Oh, dear. We can earn it back. Oh, good. All right, so we need two more for the star fruit. How gutsy do I want to be? And watch, I'm about to lose it again. Oh, good. There we go. Guess I want the rare co. I should have known. I should have known. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go try this again. Do quite as well, yeah, 79%, but it's still better than I originally did. Let's try him again. That green has worked out better for me more often than not, so we're just going to stick with that. There we go. Maybe if we take a break between the wheel. In general, it is better to play the games than it is to buy your tokens from this little token for coin booth. Okay, I feel like maybe I'm doing okay this time.
Okay, 91%. That's definitely my best yet. Ooh, 150. And it's a speedy spin, so it's probably going to land in orange instead of green, and I'm going to regret this. Oh! Ooh, yay! Okay. Alright. Let's go get our rewards. So we definitely want the star drop. Most definitely want that star drop. Alright. We found our star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of rainy days. We got the rare crow, yes. And do I want Yeah. Alright, and next time we will try for the Fedora probably. Um maybe. I'm debating. Well, why not? Why not try for it? I feel like half of this episode is, like, if we had the subtitle for it, would be Avian Learns to Play the Slingshot Game. Not well, but I'm learning. at this point. Okay, um, let's do one more time. Feel really confident in this, Al. Just one. Ah, I missed it. Oh, got both. Okay.
That's pretty good. 88%. I'm getting more consistent. 124. Let's see, I think I need... I think I needed 500 for the fedora. Watch me lose everything again. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. Otherwise, I'll spend all day doing this. Yeah, so we're gonna call it. We will come back for the fedora next fall. Um, so we're back on the farm. Just gonna take care of a few things. We're gonna put our rare crow out, our turnip head. Hi, turnip head. Get this while we have some time. I need to have that path blocked. Now we can get at our lightning rods a little bit easier. I might as well get this one while I'm at it. And there's a bat flying towards me. Let's see. There we go. Bat, bat, bat. That's right, my inventory is full. All right, so let's put away some of these things. Okay. Goes there. I think I can sell quite a bit of the rest. Definitely sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell the cheese. And I'm gonna keep the melon. I want to keep the purple mushroom, because the purple mushroom we can make elixirs out of, so we need to put the mush mushroom back. Uh, many crafting things. Yep, there's the elixir. We can sell the elixir now for a good chunk of change. And then let's get those eggs in the mayo machine and pick up the mayo from earlier. Oh, not the melon. Egg. Do that, that'll make making mayos easier in the future. We won't have to constantly go back and forth. I try to have one machine per chicken because then in the mornings you just put all your eggs in, come back in a little bit, and pick up any mayos. Um, all right, all right, let's sell that. So, mayo. Need to get inside. And let's put this. Where should we put this? Let's put that there. Put the diamond in the chest and the melon in the chest. And that way we have a diamond for a crystallarium later. And the melons we're collecting for the bundle. And weather report. Welcome to KOZV5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. All right, well, that's it for Stardew Valley Fair Day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh.